Okay, welcome to day one of my 100 day art challenge. I'm going to try a, a variety of projects using different media, watercolour, acrylics, oils. Everything's going to be around about 7 by 5 inches uh, so I can get it all done in one day. And um, so I'm going to start with these two little snowdrops and um, it's a fairly loose style. Going back to watercolours which I haven't used for about three or four years now. And um, so I'm going to give this a go and let's see what happens. I've got uh, some phthalo green, so, sorry, phthalo blue, sunlit green, and some French ultramine with a little bit of burnt sienna uh, mixed in. Then most of them are the De La Rowney artist oil colours, and I'm using a size 10 Kalinsky sable brush. So uh, I've, got, I've masked out two vaguely snowdroppy shape flowers, and I'm going to do quite a, a loose background. Uh, an abstract background really so totally out of my comfort zone as usual and um, I tend to try and do things uh, with in minute detail so trying to do something quite loose is actually quite uh, different for me so okay let's get some water on and let's try and get a loose background in plenty of water uh, this is a little uh, mixed media art pad. Phthalo blue, mix that in. I love phthalo blue, it's one of my favourite colours when I do seascapes. Um, Ultramine now, got a bit of water, slop it in there. I don't normally use masking fluid either, so uh, this is all about trying something new, broadening my horizons. I'm tending to fiddle as you can see. <laughs> Drop in some more blue. Thalo there, just try some of that. Too much water on the brush. I'm fiddling. I am fiddling. Right, I'm going to let that dry and come back to it. See, I'm fiddling. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, right, let's let that dry and uh, see what we've got. Okay, I've let that dry now. I'm going to rub off the masking fluid. Okay, I didn't quite cover it by the looks of it. There's a few little gaps there, but I can uh, get around that. Okay, now I'm going to add some green to the stems on the little uh, 
a little bit on the top. Oh, excuse me. Go, go for that. And then I want a nice dark green for the stems. Like let's pop a phthalo blue. And a little bit of the sunlit green. The sunlit green is actually one of the Terry Harrison colours. Uh, watercolors it's a tube that I had and it's actually a, uh, I actually really like that color I do tend to mix my own greens rather than use standard tube greens uh, when I was using watercolor um, yeah that looks quite that looks quite a nice color Not much contrast there from the background, but I'll add some shadow to the edge of the stem, which will define it a little bit more. As I say, it's a long time since I've actually used watercolours. I actually started out with watercolours. So it was uh, I uh, desperately wanted to paint, and I was really uh, uh, didn't have much success. And then I went so I actually took up photography because uh, I could I could actually get a pleasing a pleasing result with my camera and uh, then I found that I, I did a watercolor course with an artist from Cornwall called Derek Priest and he's a traditional watercolorist and uh, he was excellent um, offered excellent tuition and really told you how to use paint and, and, and colour, which was the important thing. Rather than to actually paint specific subjects, he would he would, he would use a series of exercises um, that showed you how to move paint and, and, and use colour, and, 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 and then he would apply those to an exercise to make a painting in the second half of the lesson. It was uh, excellent, and it's his, his tuition has stood me instead from all, all the art that I've actually done since then and um, I was really very very pleased with what I learned from him he's uh, offering courses again in Cornwall uh, on a Monday um, in uh, Tresillian Village Hall which is in between St Austell and uh, Truro Okay, now I'm going to move on and put some shadow in to define these petals. So, okay, I need some shadow around here. So let's make a nice little grey. Um, let's get some phthalo blue and some burnt sienna. Of ultramarine. Oh, there we go. That's getting, that's getting me out. A bit more ultramarine. I want a bluey shadow. That's looking good. That is looking good. Okay, let's start. Right, let's define this, the edge of this petal. Has to be somewhere. Something like Clean the brush off. Get some water. Right, 
things, but I feel a little bit more worried and darker. Make this kind of more stronger. Broaden that in. And I'm going to just put a little. of that petal there just to define that okay and then I need some shadow put some water just wet this little area a little bit of color left on the that's it the little, the darkest point. It's up here. Very much out of practice with my watercolors, as you can tell. Okay, quite pleased with that. See how that dries, and then this one we have petal goes on up there and round, and then this one will come back round there. So I need. Applying some water around, too much water. So there we go. Just want to intensify that a little bit more blue. Okay, the edge of this, I um, want to darken down the edge of the uh, top of the flower there, way too light. with how that's looking, got a few little specks there, but I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Masking fluid. Don't like that blue there. It's uh, too 
Put more blues, put a bit more morphine in there. Drying the brush now, just soaking up some of that excess. Yeah, quite pleased with the edge of the sh shape of those. With hindsight, I think I would have made this. I've made this area too dark. Um, so a bit. Um, I think what I would like like to have done would be to put in some more stems, which I guess I can still do. It's this is all. This painting is all about learning. So. And trying something new, so uh, let's go for it. Nothing to lose. Let's drop some lines in. Find those just to indicate some stems. Being in the grass, so yeah, I'm quite. It's actually been good fun trying, trying something new and different from what I what I normally do. As usual, I'm in danger of fiddling. I, uh, Derek, in, in my lessons, he got, would often um, come round and take the little brush off me and uh, Give me a bigger brush so that I couldn't fiddle and put a little minute details in. <laughs> Which, uh, sometimes worked. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry and then I will come back to it and see how it looks. I think. I need to leave it alone. I think that's it. Overall, I'm quite pleased with it. I like. I like the colour, the background colour. I, I do. I do like it. I think it could have been a little bit lighter. Uh, with hindsight, I think the flower. Um, thought, well, I don't know. I I I, I, like, I like the snowdrops, but again. I've learnt a lot. It's got me back into watercolours. Trying watercolours again after quite quite some time. I need to practice, 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 which I'll try and do over the next few few weeks with this hundred day challenge. So I'll uh, let that dry, and then I'll we'll come back and have a look at it. Okay, I've just had a look, and I I realised what I haven't done is there is an echo petal there but it's behind that one so I need to add in some shadow just around the bottom of that just to do so that uh, is defined It's way too strong. There we go. Just a bit of bit of water on the brush, plain water, and then that's that 
that shadow's added in. I think what I need to do as well is just add a little bit of definition to the edge of the edge of the petals there because they're not flat they're curved so let me just wash that one out and then the same petal probably a little bit and then the edge of that as well just to give that some dimension okay I've decided oh I've got a hard line there don't like hard lines there we go right I'm gonna stop fiddling um, yeah for a quick for a quick sketch trying something totally different I'm quite pleased with that put a mount around it I think that looks yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with that right let's see what happens on day two